Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, normally, normally this is a pretty J-pop intensive channel. This, that's what I mainly focus on. Um, and then I have sauerkraut and curry, which is mainly for video game stuff. But, for all the odds and ends, where do I put it? Since this isn't something I'm trying to monetize on and make money on, I figured I'd put it here. And because this is a Japanese related uh, channel, since I do a lot of J-pop stuff, and... Um, this is comes from Japan originally. I figured it kind of works. So I bought. Um, I like doing unboxings, and honestly, it's always fun with the reactions with sort of the sort of thing. So I actually was at Target today working, and I saw something that I immediately wanted. Pokemon boosters, of course. Uh, I like the Elite Trainer boxes. They really look really cool. I have the black and white one. Um, and it was this. They had this and a Xerneas one. So I figured, why not? Let's let's get one. Uh, get one. I want to get back into the competitive scene, so we'll see how this goes. I have a bunch of decks, I'm going to try to make them tournament legal, make a couple of them tournament legal, and then run with it, see where we can go. Uh, yeah, so let's start off with the Elite Trainer Box. I was going to use a camera, but honestly, this might be a little difficult for me to open with one hand. Um, and honestly, I don't know where my brother's camera is right now, and I don't have one of on my own, so I figured I'll just do it on the webcam like we usually do. Um, hopefully, by the time the new single comes out, Oh my god, I'm going to break something. Hopefully by the time the new single comes out uh, for Berries, I'll have the camera so I can do a little bit more interesting with the unboxing. But this will have to do for now. So it comes in this cool little case, which if it has an inside out poster, I might actually hang it up. Let's see. I know the Magic the Gathering ones do for the fat packs. So I usually hang those ones up if I really like them. In fact, uh, I'll be doing a video later showing you guys my room. And you can actually you'll see that I actually have one up still. And it's nothing special, it's just a bunch of repeated prints of uh, Ivalto. So, this is just gonna go in the trash. Okay, so the Elite Trainer Box is very interesting. Their Pokemons take on fat packs that they started about a year ago, about two years ago maybe, when the black and white set started. Um, and I like it, it's really neat. It's, a, it's 40 bucks. And it comes with a few things. Uh, the value is there. I actually think it was worth it. That's why I got it. Normally, I think Pokemon stuff is a little overpriced for the packages and stuff. But this was actually not bad. So first off, comes the player's guide. Which is a given with any pack like this. It's going to be a complete card list. Um, if you can see it. Yeah, yeah. I can kind of show you. So it comes with some, some a little bit of a tips and stuff on showing the new concepts and things from the set. Let's see. Which way am I moving it? There we go. From the set. Um, and then some of the new cards, stuff like that. Just like the Magic, if you play Magic the Gathering, it's the same kind of concept. It'll show you the, a rundown of what's what the set is all about, and some, some pro tips and stuff like that. And then you got a complete card list. So I probably won't ever buy any more boosters beyond this pack, and I will actually order what I want. This is why I love getting these. I get a neat little collector's box, and I have uh, access to all the information I need from the set. Uh, I want to actually make a... A very fairy, uh, not fairy, um, Mega Pokemon themed deck. So I don't think they did uh, introduce Mega in the original X and Y um, pack, which is what this is. But whatever. I, I bought some Flash Fire, which I know has Megas because I got a Mega. I got a Mega Charizard, one of the boosters really cool. So. I don't remember this coming, it might have come with the original, but kind of neat. It actually comes with a bunch of dividers. Oops, I gotta get used to the camera angle. Bunch of dividers for the case, um, for the box. Something that the WoW TCG also does for their big packs, but Magic doesn't for whatever reason. They used to. I have some of the older ones that have dividers. But, okay, so dividers, and it's cool because if you got the Xerneas one, it's all Xerneas themed, everything. So it would have been blue instead. Uh, comes with a bunch of energies. I'm not going to bother opening them. It's a few of each. Actually, I will open it just so I can tell you how much of each. One, two, three, four, five. So five of each. Um, considering how irritating it is to get energies in Pokemon, this is really nice. This means if I want to like add fairies into a deck, I got five to work with on top of whatever I get from boosters. So that's really nice. Um, this is really cool. I actually really liked this, which is something that the, la the black and white one didn't do comes with sleeves. 65 if I'm not mistaken. Once again, Veltal theme. If I'd gotten the Xerneas one, it would have been Xerneas theme. Uh, with blue, of course. I like Veltal better. That's just me, so that's what I got. So it's really cool, and it has a nice silver backing to it too. Although that doesn't really matter, you won't really see that. 
So, um, yeah, that's really cool. I like that. So what else do we got? Uh, coins. Looks like a burn counter. Uh, let's look at this. Let's see. Okay, so it comes with a... Oh, nice. comes with a burn and, and a poison counter. But the cool thing about this is that these are heavy plastic. So it's not just those cardboard cutouts you get from the pre-con decks. They're really good ones. These are considered tournament legal from what it says in the uh, box. So um, they're really good quality. I actually like that. This will be my second set. And, oh, and a set of damage counter di dice. Uh, keep in mind, dice is officially plural and singular. It is, it is by dictionary meaning both are right. Some people argue otherwise, but it is proper. Anyways, I'm diverging. Digressing. Digressing. I do know English sometimes. So we got these, which is really cool, with a little uh, Y for the E Bell Tall theme. That's upside down, you can't see it. There you go, it looks kind of like a heart. But yeah, so that's kind of nice. They have these, which are tournament legal as well. Much cleaner and easier to do deal with than um, damage counters, I will admit. Um, the Like the little ones you just pop on top. So I have a bunch of these kind of things, six sided, 20 sided, 10 sided, because I used to play D&D as well. So I have a bunch, so it's really nice. And that's everything in the box. And you, of course you got the box you can put the cards in. So now enough lollygagging. That's everything the pack comes with, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boosters. Keep in mind, eight boosters on their own, that's 32 bucks. So you pay an extra eight bucks, and then you get all the other stuff too. I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's start opening these. Um, I'm honestly, unless I get something that really stands out, I'm really just going to focus on showing off the rares uh, for these packs. Uh, I do like to organize these by color, so this may take a little longer than it should, but I like to be organized. So I got a Weedle, a Rhyhorn, a Bidoof, a Spoink, a Ponyard, oh nice, Foil Bibarel, although I'm not a big normal type fan, so I'm not probably going to use that. Um, Flip two coins, this attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. You may do 30 more damage if you do this Pokemon. Yeah, when this Pokemon falls asleep after he uses the attack for 60. Don't really care for it. I won't ever use it. I also got a regular rare Stoutland. Now, Stoutlands have disgusting amounts of HP, as you can see. I don't like that. So, um, the attack bite off 60 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an EX, does 60 more damage. That's not bad. 120, so it'll be a good EX counter. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, 80 plus 20. Yeah, it's not bad, but the biggest thing is the amount of energy it costs. Now, if I have a deck revolving around col double colorless, that's cool, but if I don't, which I, I think I only have one that revolves around double colorless, and even then it's low cost stuff, so. Um, okay, I got an Electrode, a Trainer, a Kakuna, and this is a neat little thing if you haven't played Pokemon TCG in a while. They actually have Pokemon TCG Digital Online for a booster. You get a, uh, one of these that gives you an unlock for the cards, uh, a booster pack on unlock online, which you can actually uh, redeem and then you can play online as well. Something really cool I wish Magic did, you have to actually buy all the cards separate online, which is really stupid, which is why I stopped playing and I didn't want to spend money on s all the cards twice. It's really ridiculous. Okay, now this is interesting. Am I just throwing it on the ground? Yeah, yeah. Jigglypuff is a fairy type. Nice. It's a basic attack, but I mean, I think that's cool. Got a Lediba, uh, Sandile, Diglett, Taylo, Girder Foil. I like the new way they do the food. Reverse Hollows. Just cool looking. Girder, foil, and oh! Get out of here. So I guess they did introduce Mega into this set, so that's good. Um, Mega Venusaur EX. I don't know if all of the. Oops, let me cover my face with it's out of focus. It's not out of focusing. Anyways, I don't know if all of the Mega Venus. Uh, Mega Pokemon are EXs, but still, that's cool. Mega Venusaur. 230 HP. Uh. 120 damage for 3 leaf and 1 colorless. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. 
Oh, it's EX because it evolves from EX, so I'd have to have Venusaur EX. So this will be a little difficult for me to use right now, but it's a cool card. Got Quilladin, Fairy Garden, uh, each Pokemon that has a Fairy energy attached to it has no retreat cost. Pretty straightforward. Frogadier, cool. Uh, I don't have the water stack yet. Then another one of those cards. Let's move on. Obviously this is going to go over the, the 10 minute limit that I usually set, but unboxings for cards, that's usually how they go. So that's okay. Uh, Bunnelby, Sandile, Voltorb, Skidoo, Skido. I like to call it Skidoo because it sounds cute. Holofoil, uh, just Slugma, so no big deal. I don't have a fire stack. Bye Shark, here's my rare. Um, Metal Sound, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. See, for one, that's not bad. 40 during your next turn, this Pokemon's Metal Wall Up attack does 40 more damage. Oh, that's nice. The two? Actually, that's not bad. I might take advantage of that. Depends. Uh, hard Charm. I got another Electrode and then Hard Charm. Any damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by an opponent's attack is reduced by 20. After Weakness and Resistance. Okay. Fair enough. Lumis. And another digital card. Cool, cool. Alright, Pikachu. Can't have a set without a Pikachu. Uh, Pan Sage. Oh, it actually counts as a normal. Oh, that's kind of stupid. I miss the days when it used to be like an actual energy you would get random every booster. It's one of my comments. It's a fairy energy. Granted, I need more fairies, so I won't complain. But it's a waste of a card I could have got. Pokemon. Venipede. Jigglypuff. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Dunsparce. One of my favorite Pokemon because of that dummy looks. And uh, Conkledur is my rare for this pack. Let's see, it's not focusing. Okay, so 140 HP, wake up, slap, 30 plus for one fighting energy. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this does 60 more damage, then remove all special conditions, just like the attack. So 90 damage, and then I'll remove the special condition, not bad. Two fighting, one colorless, dynamic punch, 60 plus. Flip a coin of heads, 40 damage. And your 40 plus damage. Wait, what? If heads, this attack does 40, yeah, 40 plus damage, and uh, they're confused. Not bad. I don't know because it's a stage two. I wouldn't want to put three, you know, like, take a part of my deck with this. But if it was a basic or I could get it out somehow, that's pretty cool. Or even a stage one. Evo Sodos, Soda, set your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it in onto that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. You can't use this card during your first turn or on a turn that the Pokemon was played. That's nice, actually. That's definitely going to go on one of my decks. Super Potion, same as normal, 60 damage from one of your Pokemon and then discard an energy. Another Quilladin. Okay, next up. Another Lediba, Spritzy, Psychic Energy, Staryu, Doduo, uh, Reverse Hollow Spritzy, whoop de doo except that they look cool, that's all. Uh, Greninja, which is in the starter deck, but I like Greninja, so I won't complain. Uh, there we go, you can see, oh, you can kind of see it. So 130 HP, uh, its ability is uh, once during your turn you may discard a 1 energy from your hand. If you do, put 3 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's actually pretty good, I like that. Uh, and then for 1 water, 50 damage, this attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. It's not bad. If I can get it evolved quickly, I mean, that's, I could actually... I can dig that. Rainbow energy. I'll never complain. Excuse me, I'll never complain about rainbow energies. Uh, Shadow Circle, each Pokemon that has a dark energy attached to it has no weakness. That could be really useful for my darkness deck. And then an Inkin. Cool. Right, we're about halfway done. Okay, Staryu. Pansier. Chespin, Inke, Phantump, 
foil Malamar. I actually like Malamar quite a bit, even though it's not the stats aren't the best. I really wish my camera would decide to autofocus on the things that I wanted to. It's like so selective. Oh, oh, there it does it when I'm done. Okay, so mental trash. Is that kind of like body trash? <laughs> uh, only like one person who will watch this video will understand what I mean. One dark. Your opponent flips four coins for each tails. He or she discards a card from his or her hand. Nice. Um, one dark, two colorless, 30 damage for distortion beam. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Tails, it's confused. It's a win-win either way. That's good. Actually, uh, the energy cost is a little too high for it. Maybe. And then my normal rare is Wigglytuff. And now that I have two Jigglies, I could actually use my Wiggly. That sounds weird. <laughs> Anyways. So 100 HP. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. Easy peasy. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, two Fairy, one Colorless for double edge, 90 damage, and only 10 to itself. That's not bad. Weak to steel, resistance to dark. High retreat cost, though. Okay. Professor Sycamore, discard hand, draw seven cards, just like the other professors. Hand, card charm, double A. And a uh, digital card. Alright, so, so far we're looking pretty good here. Pump Kaboo! <laughs> Another Jiggly. Slugma. Hone Edge. Now just give me two more. Froki. Now just give me two more. Spoink is my reverse hollow. Yay. Trevenant. Is my rare. It looks cool. Another Pokemon that I think looks cool, the stats or whatever. I wasn't really happy with most of the new additions to the X and Y, to the family in X and Y. Um, a lot of cool designs, a lot of cool Pokemon, but the stats felt like all red and blue. Like they were really low. Like for tournament play, I'm never going to want to use most of the X and Y added Pokemon. I'm going to use everything before that. Especially black and white stuff. So, anyways. It's a whole other topic. Force Curse ability. As long as this, opponent, this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play any item cards from his or her hand. Nice. One Psychic to Colorless, 60 damage. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. I'll have to think about it. Super Potion, Hernier, Fletchinder. I think I have like one uh, Fletchling, so it's really no use. Plus, I don't have a Talent Flame. Lediba, Lediba, whatever. Sandile, Diglett, Talo, Ekans. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Trevenant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got Ekans and I got Arbuck. Alright, don't focus. Don't focus. I think it's time for me to learn how to autofocus. I mean, to manually focus. Anyways, Gastro Acid 20. Opponent has no abilities until end of your turn. Next turn. Poison Jab 1, Psychic 2, Colorless for 50 damage, and the opponent is poisoned. Yeah, it's okay. I wouldn't use it. Not for the energy cost. Uh, Mr. Mime. Which is Fairy. Girder. Professor's Letter. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. I might use that, actually. And now we're on to Flash Fire. I actually picked my... <laughs> I actually picked my boosters based off of the designs I like the best. Two Mega Charizards and Mega King is fun. Save the best for last, so I'll open Mega King is fun first. Actually, Mega Charizard X. My least favorite out of the three. Felt like Mega Charizard X was too divergent from the actual Charizard design. So, I was happy that it's actual dragon, which makes sense, but that's about it. So, okay, so Pineco, Sfeel, Baneri. That looks like an old design, too, from one of the promos. Same attack, too. Nice. Caterpie, Helioptile. <laughs> nice. Reverse hollow. Oh god. Reverse hollow Gumi. Yay. Which is, I need another stack for a dragon type. Uh. Let's go on top of my Xbox. Okay. And I actually have one of these, so I might sell the second one if it gets good money. 
Mega Charizard EX. And I do actually, I did actually get a Charizard EX in the first booster that I pulled this from. So, um, 230 HP, 2 Fire, 1 Dark, 2 Colorless, 300 damage. Uh, let me re-emphasize this. 300 damage. I don't know of any Pokemon that has higher than that. One hit KO. Discard the top five cards of your deck. So if you can keep them alive you and you have enough cards in your deck, you pretty much won the game. Pretty OP. Uh, Mill Tank, Torkoal. Honestly, if I get another Slug or uh, Mag Cargo, I'm going to be really upset because I pulled two Mag, car two Mag Cargos in one booster and then two Mag Cargos in the other. And that's a rare. Really made me unhappy, actually. Pal Pad, shuffle two supporter cards from your discard pile into your deck. And the supporter heavy deck might be nice. Then opening my King's Con booster. It's interesting how everybody's adopted this new uh, new style for booster pack packaging. It's probably cheaper than using up all the plastic, but still, I thought it was fine. Magic's doing it too now. Alright, open up, open up. Alright. Shinx. Scraggy, I always like Scraggy. Pineco. Sneasel, I like Sneasel. Esper. Esper makes me upset in the mind. <laughs> uh, Foil Pidgey. Looks cool. Um, oh, nice. Another Pokemon I like who has okay stats. Loet. Okay, come on. Nope, nope. Alright, not gonna waste too much time. Um, each of your grass Pokemon in play gets plus 20 HP. And for one fairy, it does 20 damage. Not bad if I do a fairy grass deck. Uh, startling Megaphone. Discard all Pokemon tools attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Could be useful. No tank. Another charcoal. And alright, let's finish up. 22 minutes. Nice. Hopefully I'll learn how to be faster on these. Next time I think I'm just gonna open them all and then just throw them on a the stack and just go through them with you guys. Save some time. Caterpie, Buneary, Weasel, Sandile, Ponita. Or Ponita. For baby. Reverse holo for baby. And actually this is kind of a disappointing booster. Got another Floet. And then Sligo. Sligo. Uh, where's my dragon stack? Fur Fru. I don't like that little picture on this actually. And then another Floet, or actually one Floet. Nice, I just need one more Floet, and I'm good. And that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm gonna cut this short since it's already long enough. Uh, keep an eye out for some new videos that I'm working on. And that's it. I'll see you guys around. Hope you enjoyed the video.